Hello everyone and welcome back to my KSP tutorial series in Kerbal Space Program 0.90 Beta and in this episode I want to start out by going over to Mission Control to see what kind of contracts we might have to guide us in our future exploits. Now that's a lot of contracts. Um, perform visual surveys of Minmus. Perform visual surveys of Minmus. Uh, I don't know if I can get to uh, crew out there and bring them back on a vessel under 18 tons yet. Uh, I don't want to hang around doing a lot more crew tests. Maybe I should just uh, aim to unlock more technology. We've got quite a buffer of funds here and we've got some science as well. So maybe just uh, getting some science out of the moon and Minmus ahead of time may uh, unlocking some vital technologies that way would be the first thing to do. Is there anything we could do on the way though? Perform visual surveys of the moon. All of this requires crew and I would be worried that I wouldn't be able to bring them back because again it's heavier uh, and of course doing them in these particular locations. Well we could hit a very very low orbit. Then it says above. So would I want to do it with the moon or Minmus? I guess the moon. huh? That's a lot of locations. We'll we'll probably end up getting these contracts. It'll be tough to get that one. I wouldn't want to take both of them because then they'll occupy all of my active contracts. Looks like both of these are pretty comparable. Let's see where the locations are in the tracking station. Maybe it'll show us. Wow, we've got all sorts of stuff going on here. Um, it looks like the easier one to do would probably be these green ones from uh, Dinkelstein Kerman's Construction Emporium. Uh, getting the the polar location is tough. What's this? It looks like we have to... is that a station that we have to put up there or is it a, a asteroid that we have to pull into there? That'd be interesting. Even so, uh, this location is still difficult not easy to get uh, craft to those kinds of things alright um, let me just take a better look at that Dinkelstein Kerman contract okay it is uh, Dinkelstein Kerman it's all take a crew report in flight above so there's that going for us okay yeah okay let's go to the tech tree we can't unlock technologies that require more than 100 science, so that's all a bust for now. Lights could be helpful, actually. Let's just purchase uh, lights on the on the knowledge that they'll be necessary anyway. How much does it take to upgrade this stuff? Okay, so 140,000 uh, and and that will allow 12 active Kerbals. Kerbals can perform EVAs. Kerbals on EVA can place flags. That's pretty useful. That gives us patched conics. That will increase our science limit. Astronaut complex upgraded for EVA surface sample. Required. Okay, so we can't do that yet resource transfer available. Oh, but uh, that's gonna cost a lot. And that's a lot of parts. That's a pretty cheap upgrade right there. That is not an expensive upgrade for the launch pad. Do I need to do it though? My policy has been that I'm only gonna do it if I need to. Let's send a Kerbal over. Let's send a Kerbal over. Okay, I think I'm just going to use Moon Mission 1 and see if it works. We're going to send over Lemdorf Kerman on his first uh, mission. Maybe it'd be better to unlock EVAs first. Yeah, okay, I'm going to unlock EVAs. Okay, so I'm going to spend the money. Uh, to unlock EVAs. Uh, that's the first thing I wanted to do anyway. And I don't see why I shouldn't. Okay. So that's that's a thing. 
Uh, maybe I should hire another pilot as well now that we've got uh, more room. That's that's a good one, Chadger Kerman. We will have Lemdorf Kerman try to take this up. All right, so we've got our contract, and let's see if we can hit at least one of these with this mission. We don't have to hit all of them. The the mission doesn't cost very much, and the amount we get will be quite a lot. So just double checking that Lemdorf is in, and let's go. Okay, here we go, our rescued Kerbal, helping out this time. And we are aiming for the moon, hopefully we have enough fuel to do the inclination change around the moon. Um, yep, it'll be an interesting flight for Lemdorf. We're just trying to hit one of the locations, so let's go. Oh no, I forgot, electric charge, what the heck am I doing? Okay, uh, we're gonna board this mission, I think. Well, electric charge is gonna be too much. Uh, yeah. Sorry about this, folks. I'm gonna have to abort this one. Uh, I really don't want to, but we don't have any way of recharging. I just launched a stupid rocket without uh, adding any solar panels. Uh, well, we had used it for a moon mission before, so it, it should work, right? Well, not not if we're going to make fine, finely adjusted maneuvers. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get some science out of Lemdorf here. Okay. So once we're in orbit, we're going to have Lemdorf do some EVA reports. And that way you get some science out of this. So it won't be a total loss. I don't know, it's it's possible, I, I, but I don't want to strand him without electric charge when we've got the technology, so. But it is possible to head for the moon right now. We will still send him to the moon. I, I promised Lemdorf that, and he's got a name like Lemdorf. Um, so he should go to the moon. Okay, a little bit high on one end, but that will be serviceable. Okay, while there's still some light out, Lemdorf, I would like you to do this EVA thing. We have just discovered how to do. Okay, hatch is on this side. Not the brightest lit place, but okay. Okay, don't crawl. Uh, no, 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 no. Go up, go up, go up, 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 up. They, they like to crawl off for some reason. So you have to nudge him back. Okay, keep that board. Okay, so we've got the EVA report from just above Kerbin's waters. We have to re-engage SAS every time. I'll wait until we are on the daylight side. I don't want to mess with Lendorf getting out in the night time. Let's rotate. Maybe you also rotate this way, uh, burning some of our electric charge here. But okay, that's good. EVA. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! Don't go! Don't go down. Okay. EVA report. Still water. Okay. Well, reset experiment. Okay. Uh, board. Okay, there's some interesting bits of land we've got. Possibly highlands. Stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. New report. Highlands, yes. Keep that data aboard. And probably still over highlands. Uh, stabilize, stabilize. Let's have you point prograde. Okay. Shores. Okay, very good. That's a tough one to get sometimes. Well, not really. You could get it right outside of KSC. Mountains are tougher.
Ah, there we go. Mountains. So yeah, you could launch straight up from the KSC and get shores. Grasslands. This little area is the best place for some of it. And I want deserts over here. Oh, don't slide off. Okay, yes, deserts. Board. Excellent. All right. So, um, we got plenty of fuel. Quite obviously. So, why don't we do a more direct descent to the KSC? Let's not leave Lundorf up here waiting for his next mission. Let's head a little bit north. It looks like we're too far south. I'm gonna try and hit the KSC without running out of electric charge. Ah, falling a little bit short. Well, let's just keep going here. Whoa, come on. Keep it steady. Yep, still not far enough. I don't know if we can bear the mass of the whole thing. Let's see. Maybe with a token amount of thrust. It'll probably still flop down though, won't it? No, I can't see the ground very well. Should add those lights. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. I didn't judge the higher terrain properly. But, uh, well, except for the engine, Lindorf is fine. Uh, let's just recover you. I get a strange feeling that I'm sort of out of it today, because that didn't go very well at all. Uh, so I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious now. But at least Lindorf got some experience, that's good. And advanced to level 1, so maybe you can help with stability a little bit more. Okay, let's make some very necessary adjustments to this. I'm tempted to just make a brand new and much better one, but uh, let's do minimal stuff first. Uh, we are going to add solar panels to the trunk and one to the pod itself. Those don't have much of a mass. We also need perhaps some reserve battery power. And those don't have much mass at all either. The lights are a little bit heavier, but not by much. And we want the Large illuminators. Yeah, I think uh, downward facing is the right idea. But I don't want them sticking out like that. So win mission two. Should have been that way anyway. Uh oh. Mass. Ah. Okay. Well, how much fuel do we have to dump before that's happy? Not much. Is that the right proportion? Uh, 4.5, 5.5. Yes, that's the right proportion. Okay, so a little bit of fuel dumped there to make up for that. Alright, let's try this again with Lemdorf. Now a more experienced pilot. Okay, SAS on. Now we've got more options. Throttle is up. Lemdorf is looking good. Let's go. I should have dumped the mod propellant out. We're not using it. I'm gonna attempt to do a much smoother turn this time. Okay. Well, at least this time we don't have to even think about doing the EV reports around Kerbin. You can just go ahead and 
head for the moon and do stuff over there. So yeah, with the advent of 1.0, I thought I'd be spending a lot more time in beta, honestly. When I started this tutorial series, I thought, okay, well, we'll, we'll be in beta for a couple of months more uh, than we apparently are going to be. Uh, so yeah, I could do a tutorial series uh, while in beta. But I don't think I'm going to complete what I wanted to do in beta before we get into the 1.0 release, so... It's, I'm gonna try and hurry it, but we'll see. Because we haven't talked about interplanetary transfers yet. We haven't talked about all sorts of stuff. We haven't talked about uh, rendezvous. We haven't talked about uh, all the more complicated things in KSP. So uh, I might have to jump back into sandbox mode to see how I can uh, get to those topics and uh, use that option because we might not get to those quickly enough in the career mode here. Okay, so we're basically waiting for for the moon to show up. Oh, actually, I think we're a little bit late. Yeah, the sun was obscuring the moon. That's fine, we can burn now. It'll be a little bit off. Uh, maybe we should go around. Nah. Let's go. On the bright side, if we do strand Lemdorf, uh, he'll basically be in the same position as he was before, right? And so we could just rescue him. Okay, let's see how this is going. Could be a good time to unlock patch conics. That would show when I actually hit the moon. Okay, well, let's hope that works out. Otherwise, uh, we're, we're on a... I mean, if we don't hit the moon, we'll definitely be on a return trajectory. So we'll get him back anyway. It'll just be uh, sort of a bummer to have uh, two missions in a row that didn't actually make it to the moon. Very cinematic and all. Yeah, don't be fooled if you think that you're going to be arriving too early. This part of the orbit is really, really slow. Okay, and in fact, here we are on our typical crash course. And let's try and hit the simplest one, whatever that happens to be. Um, God, stop disappearing on me. Well, let's focus on the moon. Um, so, yeah, this one would be good. But we just need to lift our orbit right now. Is this the right radial direction for that? Let's see. Nope. Wrong way. I haven't sorted out the radial indicators on the nav ball yet. Eventually I'll pay attention to that. But not today. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna keep that low. I'm gonna have the other end high. That'll probably be the most efficient way to go. It said above those altitudes, 8,700, 7,100, and 8,500, but it didn't say how far above. Hmm. Okay, that's all I want. <laughs> I do not want to get into a very tight orbit. Let's see now. Uh, 5,000 might be too high, actually. Let's get, uh, let's get into the six-digit range. No, I think that should be good. I think that should be fine. We're going to have to make the adjustment here, I think. The key thing with the 
inclination adjustments is you want to do them as far out as possible from the planet because the planet does not uh, we, we, we could calculate that if you like but uh, let's just believe it here the planet does not like you making inclination adjustments close to its gravitational influence uh, I'll have to learn how to do that uh, more fluently later on. Uh oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't no, 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 no. That cannot be good. Ah, let's hold on. Please tell me Moon is gonna recapture. No, we're getting too far away. Hey, you can't just do that to me. Ah, we got spit out. How did that happen? I can wait to be recaptured, I think is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna take this line down. You can see what I'm doing. I'm letting the Moon catch up to me. Similar to the way we rendezvoused before. Is this the right amount? Uh, it's tight. Okay. Okay, so that was too high. I guess. Okay. So noted. So noted. Definitely going for six digits this time, all around. Okay. Now they're here. Probably gotta do it perpendicular to them. So around here we good. No, actually, this side would be better. Yeah. Looks like we have to tilt north. I should have brought the orbit down. Uh, north, north, north. Don't know if I'm looking at it uh, sufficiently well. I think that should be okay. All right, uh, back over to apoapsis, and then we'll bring the orbit down from there. So we'll find out how low we have to be, I guess. I'm not going to go below, let's say, 15 kilometers. Well, okay, I guess that'll be it. Gotta have to wait till they come around to this place. Well, the, this is a game of waiting today. Okay, I think we're either on our last swing around or second to last swing around still don't know if my location here is really high enough to we're hitting that one is what I'm trying to do and you can sort of see why it's difficult but so on each orbit uh, the moon moves us a little bit closer to getting over our target Okay, but we can do some EVA reports, so I'll take care of that now. Let's make sure the hatch is fully in the light. One annoying thing is whenever you EVA, it changes camera on you. So I always have trouble reorienting. Okay, don't drift. High over the moon, keep that data, board. We don't have antennae, and that's deliberate. We need to get them back in order to get the science. I'm not, uh, I'm not even uh, tempted to think about not getting the curl back. That's the first goal here. And then we'll have to do low over the moon over each of the biomes of the moon, but that's separate. Looks like we'll have to go around one more time. I hope it won't. Uh, these guys won't pass the periapsis by too much. How much above 8,000, uh, which one is it specifically, XRQ? 
XRQ is 8,700 meters. Our periaps is currently 14,000. It says above, but I don't know how far above. Hmm. Bring him lower, he'll be skimming the surface quite tightly. But maybe that's what I have to do. I'll take the visual input here. As an in okay, well that's that'll be lower. We need to be above, it says, so let's not go lower. But we want to be very close to it. That's about it. On this swing by, I'll definitely have to take the outside view. Ah, we're not really in phase right now. It's too far over here. And this is a crater. This is as low as the moon gets. There's some parts that are much higher. Okay, but let's bring orbit down so that I I think it'll pass too much if we're still at this high. I haven't talked about calculating orbital period yet. Sort of important. Not doing it right now. I'm just sort of guesstimating. Still pretty far off. It's a marginal chance. Well, whatever you're supposed to be looking at, it's probably in sight. It's just sort of an angle. Yeah, well, too much of an angle for them. Okay. Go around one more time. Skimming along the surface at uh, quite a clip. Done. Okay, we got that one. I, I can't, uh, whatever, we can keep that data. Okay, well, you're getting a very close look at the moon right now, so. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he, he did this thing. Okay, silly goose. Okay, forward, forward. Down. As I've already said, I'm not the most confident EVA or in KSP. Oh, and then they do that sort of thing. Okay, come on. They are supposed to grab, but then stop, stop. Okay, the other way. Well, can you get the EV report? Sheesh. I mean, it's not just that I'm bad at EVAing, it's also that the Kerbals don't seem to grab on properly sometimes. Finally, sheesh. Okay, forget this, Lemdorf needs a lot more EVA practice before we do any more EVAs with him. Okay, I'm tuckered out. I want to get back home. Well, either we have the the delta v to do it, or we don't. We're at approximately the right location, but let's not be approximate about it. Let's be at the right location. This is where we find out whether he can get back home. Actually, this is not where. It's after we get into. Kerbin SOI that we'll find out. We don't get to find out here. <sighs> right. We are hyperbolic. Well, the moon was sure eager to spit us out before. I don't think it's going to keep us around this time. And as before, I'm going to wait till apoapsis to bring my periapsis down. So we're going to go around Kerbin once. Lendorf getting a neat sight of home.
Okay, retro burn. One periapsis at. Well, let's definitely bring him down. Let's say 28 kilometers. Alright, that's better. Okay, no telling exactly where we're gonna come down. Hopefully, probably water. I mean, chances are, right? No, we're gonna be pretty close to the KSC. Maybe we'll be off the coast. Okay, let's take it from here. Okay, that's the look of it. Lemdorf has been quite a trooper this time around. Quite a trooper altogether. But EVAs with him, not good. I, I remember that from uh, when we rescued him too. I think uh, EVAs with him, uh, dodgy stuff. Okay, well, I don't see a reason to keep the service module tank this time. Really don't. We've got full charge in the capsule. Okay. Let's just dump it. Parachute deployment. Parachute is good. Now Lemdorf's worried. Really? Well, okay. Fair enough. Space is a little bit less dangerous for him, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. He enjoys it. Okay, full parachute deployment is at 500 meters, so we're probably above water. Okay, let's recover. Phew, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, we got 25.6 signs directly. We only did one EV report uh, close to the moon, but we took care of the high over the moon one. Um, uh, but we did get some signs from the contract, I believe. Let's see. Come on, contract. Yeah, we got 24 signs from the contract. Okay, well, the contract doesn't like to move. All right. So we didn't get very much value back from the capsule, but we got Lemdorf and he got three experience. Wait, does that put him ahead in experience than uh, than Jeb or no? It's he's on par with Jeb now. Okay, good. Uh, so we'll give uh, Chagger a chance next time. Uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think it is time to upgrade the launch pad. Not not that way. Gonna upgrade the launch pad and let's unlock some new parts. So I'm gonna go for this tier. Oh, uh, there's uh, fuel lines. That'll be important. And uh, I'll just flesh it out, I guess. Well, let's not rush. I, I got the fuel lines, which is what I really wanted. Uh, let's unlock it properly. And I'll unlock these as well because that is my favorite little engine. So I will want those. Okay, so with that unlocked, I don't know if I need the gimbling engine. We'll think about that. But yeah, I'll reserve the rest of the science for what I might think to do, whether I need this or that. We shall see. All right, so uh, well, we got an interesting mission done this time. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but uh, we got a lot out of it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.